Hey guys, in today's video, uh, let's take a quick look in Substance Painter, how we can quickly add a logo uh, to the back of our leather jacket. And uh, maybe uh, also um, let's investigate the new, newly added uh, paint along the path uh, feature that will allow us to do cool designs. And um, for example, uh, let me show you how you can quickly add uh, cool stripes uh, design to any one of your uh, clothing elements, right? So uh, to get started, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a logo that I just wanna drop uh, to the back of my jacket, right? And uh, just for uh, anyone who is very new to Substance Painter, sometimes if you bring in a mesh and you would like to see double-sided material of your mesh, um, if you ever wanna turn that on, you can just go to uh, shader settings right here and in the um, this little uh, menu just simply select something that's called uh, PBR metal rough with alpha test if you select that you can see that now you can see the back side so sometimes that could be uh, helpful as well so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my uh, logo so I have one right here for my company UI studio so I'm just gonna drag it right into my um, project here and I'm going to set this as a texture and I'm going to say import. All right, so here's the logo. Now, one of the things you want to do when you bring in a logo, you want to make sure that it's square, right? So that's one of the things that you want to make sure. And uh, how do we add this logo, this transparent PNG logo to the back of this jacket? So to do this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply going to make sure that I'm in the right layer. So in this case, this jacket has three different materials. It has the metal, it has the uh, jacket leather, and then it has the hood part, which is uh, supposed to be a different material in the game engine, right? So I want to make sure that I'm select, you know, that I have the right one selected, which is the jacket layer. If in case you have multiple materials, just so do that. And then to add the logo, all you need to do is just simply grab it and drag it onto the jacket. When you release it, just simply uh, set it to base color. And voila, there it is. So the logo is ready to be uh, positioned. So the first thing I'm gonna do obviously is grab the rotate and rotate it. Now, one thing that I like to do personally is I like to switch to orthographic view and then I like to hold on the shift key and snap it to the uh, top view and then I, what I like to do is I like to rotate my logo to make sure that it's perfectly aligned 90 degrees uh, or about and then if you grab your move tool you can kind of pull it away from the jacket so essentially I'm just positioning it right in front of the jacket right now if I come back here um, I can no longer see the logo but if I go into my properties I can dial the hardness and also projection depth and you can see that projection depth is gonna be what we want. The hardness setting is gonna be uh, used for the edges, right? So I wanna make sure that mine is set to one. And the cool thing about doing it this way, we can just simply drag it, is that now you can easily position it anywhere you like. You can also uh, come up here and maybe choose scale and make it different size. Maybe you want it large or small, that's up to you. Again, position it uh, just perfectly. And again, if you're in the orthographical view and you kind of snap to the middle, that's gonna be an easy way to find out where the middle is. You can also um, do a few other things. For example, you can grab uh, Edit Warp. So you could do that. If I select Edit Verts, I can grab any one of these verts and I can pull my logo around if I needed to. So that's an option too. So you have all these cool little things that you can play with. All right, very cool. So once you're done, let's go ahead and turn that off. So now we can enjoy our logo and make sure that is exactly what we want, right? Very cool. So now uh, let's talk about these uh, stripes. How do we add these uh, stripes to our jacket? So to do this again, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna make sure on the right layer. And in this case, I'm gonna turn off the ones that I uh, already created. So I'm gonna create a new layer. And uh, let's investigate this new uh, path uh, tool, right? So paint along the path. So I'm gonna select it. And let's go ahead and select our initial stripe to be maybe white. And I can dial the size. We can decide if we want uh, anything else besides the color. I just want the color, so I'm gonna turn everything off. And I do want it to make sure that it's uh, being created on both sides. So I'm gonna create, turn my symmetry on. 
and you can see a red line up here showing us the symmetry is turned on. And let's just go ahead and zoom in and let's just start kind of creating a line going from the shoulder all the way to the sleeve. So something like that is pretty perfect. Now, uh, because we are using the paint uh, path, right? We can modify this um, at any point. So we can change the size. So let's say I want the size to be something a little bit larger. And I purposely uh, went over the shoulders because I want to show you how you can mask this piece as well. Because uh, in my case, I just want the stripe to go all the way to the seam line, right? So let's say I'm happy with this. And uh, for whatever reason, let's say I want to add additional two stripes on the back, uh, maybe black color going around the, uh, uh, around the white ones. So instead of creating another uh, path, what I could do is, let's call this one white stripe. Um, what I could do is I can right click and I could just simply say duplicate. And let's call the, uh, let's drag this one to the bottom. And let's call this one a black stripe or black stripes actually. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, select the path on the black stripes layer and I'm gonna simply change the size. And of course, if I change the size, I can also need, I need to change the color as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we can adjust the thickness of the stripes that we like. So maybe something like that is pretty cool. Once you uh, are happy with it, just press enter. And that's gonna kind of uh, go out of this manip manipulator uh, mode. Next, I'm gonna simply create a folder. And let's call this folder something like stripes. I'm gonna select both of these layers and just drag them right into my folder, okay? And now you can see that uh, both of them are in here. Uh, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say add a black mask. So that's one way of doing it, right? So then uh, if we add a black mask, then we can of course take our uh, paintbrush and go to paint and let's select something like maybe a hard brush. And then um, if we just paint, it's gonna start kind of creating the, ma the mask uh, for our stripe. So we could do it this way. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it obviously is if we, um, let's clear, let's go ahead and add a white mask instead. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna reveal the whole thing and ask us which portion do you wanna hide, right? So that's another alternative. So I'm, I can switch to the black color, right? And let's make our brush a little bit smaller and I can just simply clear out the pieces that I don't want. If I uh, click hold on the shift key, I can make a straight line and just click uh, quickly clean up my lines. There you go. So that is uh, obviously the logo is going to be uh, seen through, but there's going to be a character in there. So we don't have to worry about that, right? Uh, because this uh, mesh only has one side. It's not two sided. But that's pretty much it. That's how quickly uh, and easy it is to add a logo and um, some cool stripes to your uh, mesh or your uh, clothing element. But the cool thing about this, uh, keep in mind, if you ever wanted to change your stripes, you could just simply go into your stripe uh, layer and just simply click on it. And at any point you can change the color, right? So you can do maybe some other color, um, maybe in this, you know, I could do something like an orange so it matches my logo. That's one uh, cool thing. And then obviously you can also change the shape of the of your stripes. That's uh, super cool as well. So keep in mind, all right? Uh, and I did the same thing for my seams. I used the path. So again, uh, at any point I can go back in and move it around if I wanted to instead of, um, you know, baking it in using something like the paintbrush. So take advantage of this uh, path tool. It's very powerful. And thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next one.